Noob Saibot is currently one of the most popular characters inside of Mortal Kombat 1. What if I told you that you were playing Noob Saibot wrong? What if I told you that there was a cameo that completely changes this character's entire playstyle that the best of the best players are recommending, <coughs> Sonic Fox, and this cameo completely negates any weakness that the character has. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is why you are playing Noob Cybot wrong. Also, before we begin, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I make fighting game content. My name is Big Flounder, and I love Mortal Kombat. So, if you enjoyed today's video, I would really appreciate a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. Thank you so much. The cameo that I am referring to with Noob Saibot is actually Chameleon. Chameleon has been a very strong cameo throughout her entire life cycle, but everything that she can do with Noob Saibot is honestly just excellent. We'll start today's video off by showing you the synergies with each and every single form of Chameleon and why they make Noob Saibot so good. So first of all, we've got Katana. Well, Katana gives Noob Saibot a lot of good tools. First of all, meterless combo starter is always good. You can end this in a teleport, go for your combos as per usual, and it does a very decent chunk of change. Everyone knows that the Katana's fan isn't really that good. What really makes Katana good is the fan lift, and fan lift has some insane synergies with Noob Saibot. One that I want to discuss right now is actually a synergy with Ghost Ball. Ghost Ball is a kind of dog shit tool in terms of just zoning because of the fact that you can just duck this move and there's nothing you can do to make this move a mid. However, with Chameleon, that changes. If you have Katana ready, what you can do is, is use Ghost Ball and then immediately go for the uh, fan lift. And what this allows you to do is, is chase your Ghost Ball with a jump in. So, they can either A, duck the high Ghost Ball and hit, get hit by your jump in, B, block the Ghost Ball and get the buff on them, C, jump and get hit by your jump in, or D, Quit the game and cry. This is an incredible tool for me to try box zoning, especially considering that you can also go for one of your air tools if it hits if you want to keep zoning them out. Let's say you have a life lead and you want to just end the round like a bitch. You can do that very easily with Noob Saibot. You can also end your throw in this. I haven't been able to find an actual combo for this move yet, but you can end your throw in fan lift. So if anybody can find an aerial combo with this, please let me know. Next up, we've got Melina, and Melina honestly has some of the best synergies with Noob Saibot. One of Noob's worst tools, if not his worst tool completely, is his armor. But at the very least, it's got decent range and it's a low. Well, what if you now had another armor that has decent range isn't and is an overhead? And also lots of spray full combo. That's where Melina comes in. You see, you can use Melina Ball Roll on Wake Up instead of your low armor if you know they're baiting your armor out and get a full combo just for the simple fact that they're expecting your armor. This completely gets rid of Noob Saibot's dog shit armor and turns it to a way better tool on Wake Up because now they have to guess or they're getting comboed. You can also, of course, use it as a mix up tool. Noob Saibot's best mid 4 1 ends in a low if you go forward 1 3. Now you can go forward 1 into the Melina Ball Roll for an overhead low mix up. That full combos on both hits. You do gotta be careful that the overhead is unsafe, so you don't wanna be too crazy with it. Now, next up, we actually have Melina's Air Size, and these are just as good for Noob Saibot as any of the other Chameleon tools. And honestly, this can do what a lot of players take other cameos for. It can do what Scorpion can do, it can do what Janet can do, it can do what Movado can do, and that lets you combo off of your teleports meterlessly. So let's just say I hit a teleport. I can now get a meterless combo off of that. Very nicely. This tool is also really helpful for Noob Saibot and Zoni, and if they're jumping your Ghost Ball or if they're jumping your Slide at all, what you can do is just start throwing out those air size, catch them in midair, and go for a teleport and get a full combo from full screen. Having an incredibly good mix-up tool and having the ability to combo meterlessly off teleports is why Chameleon is so good. But there is a third and final form that we haven't got over that makes this even more disgusting. We have finally come to Jade, and this is honestly why I truthfully believe that Noob Saibot is so broken. First of all, to get the uh, the, the whatever out of the way, you have anti-zone tools, a very good one, where all projectiles will just pass through you. So now you can just zone at free, free, free zoning basically, which Noob Saibot does struggle a bit at full screen, not anymore. Now he can just completely negate any and all projectiles and have way better zoning than the opponent. That's great and all. Everyone kind of knows about that tool. Everyone one, it's it's not that good you can't really use it for any setups or anything but jade glaive is where things change because in the middle of jade glaive you can place one of these spirit balls now if you'll notice something after i place this ghost ball and i go for a combo it no longer combos right it, it drops the combo however this is 
perfect for Noob Saibot. Why? Because once you get this guy down, you have a perfect little mix up here. You can go 4 4 and go for an overhead, or you can go forward a slide and go for a low. So, you have the ability to basically guarantee yourself a mix up right after they get hit by the Jade Glaive. Let's do something like this. And just like that, they are getting hit by my combo. And I think we'll do whatever I like. Boom, simple as that. 44% off of that combo. And I'm pretty sure that is an optimal. Let me do the optimal real quick. Yeah, we're getting like 47% off of that, plus the initial combo damage that we got. This ability to mix your opponent up is really good, especially considering that this mix-up is safe due to Ghost Ball. Let's say they are able to block this somehow. What you can do is, is just send the Ghost Ball out right afterwards and keep yourself safe. Meaning that if they, they also have to take that Ghost Ball in the first place and take the buff. So they're going to have the Ghost Ball buff on them. You're going to be able to mix them up for free after Jade Glaive every single time. And it's going to be safe. That is incredibly good. Chameleon also gives you a out pretty good zoning. Jade Glaive is just such a good zoning tool. And you can just catch your opponent with this all the time. You can even go for a Jade Glaive into Ghost Ball from the full screen, get a combo there, at least just get the buff set up on them guaranteed, and then maybe go for a high damage setup later with Noob Saibot Chameleon. This character can just do an absolute lot. And I, I really do mean that. It's a ridiculous amount of damage this character can do with Chameleon. And to make matters even better, Chameleon actually got a recent buff where you can change the order of, of the way the disguises move. So if you're not a big fan of going Katana into Melina into Jade, you can swip, sw uh, swip swap that order and go Jade, Melina, Katana. That way, if you like that order more, or if you want to change, uh, if you want to stick on one character, you can use that move kind of often and keep one character out. I personally just kind of let it ride and, and go with the Jade, Melina, Katana route, but at the end of the day, it's all personal preference. Overall, Noob Saibot gives Noob high damage combos, incredibly good mix-ups, the ability to have decent zoning finally, and a much better armor tool. Seriously, there isn't a single thing that Chameleon can't do that the other characters can't do. I, I, you've got the meterless combos, you've got mix-ups, you've got setups, you've got it all. One last thing I need to mention is Embrace Chaos. Embrace Chaos is a tool I don't use too often, but it is a lot easier to use with Chameleon because what you can do is, is send out one of these and during the Jade Glaive animation, you can embrace chaos. So, you can go for a throw afterwards, or if you want to embrace chaos and enhance it, you can actually get a full combo from this. My embrace chaos combos kind of suck, but you get the point. Not only can you get a full combo from this, but you can also mix them up afterward with embrace chaos. This makes Chameleon 100% Noob Saibot's best cameo. I don't care who you are, I don't care what you're doing right now, if you enjoy Noob Saibot, try a couple games on Chameleon and I, and you will thank me later. This cameo and this character combination is bu -bu 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 busted. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's Mortal Kombat 1 video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do me a huge favor, leave a like, comment, and subscribe on today's video. It would really help me out and my channel would really appreciate it. And I will be live tonight with some Mortal Kombat, probably some Sparky Zero, some other fighting games. So if you're interested in that, follow me on my Twitch, Twitch channel. And I also have a Discord server like in the description below as well, where I post updates to my YouTube channel, to my Twitch channel, to anything that's going on with the channel. So if you enjoy this content, please consider joining that stuff up. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the video. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.